Hey everyone, it's Grace from Kapwing and I'm going to show you how to make aesthetic text posts for Instagram. In this day and age, one of the most effective ways to spread a message is through an Instagram text post. These posts often feature eye-catching text, illustrations, and a coordinated color palette to deliver bite-sized pieces of information. Some are single posts, while others are PowerPoint-style slideshows that often revolve around spreading awareness of an issue. You can make these posts easily for free in Kapwing, which includes all the tools you need, including image search and a background erasing tool. Just click the first link in the description below to get to Kapwing, and I'll meet you there. So to create your own Instagram text post, just go to the first link in the description below, click that, you'll end up here. I'd recommend you sign into your Kapwing account before you click get started uh, because you'll be able to save your work in the cloud and no watermark is added at the end and signing into your account is free. So just click get started and you can just immediately start with a blank canvas and this canvas is perfectly sized for Instagram. It's the one-to-one -one output ratio you can see on the side here. From here, you can just make any edits you want to create your post. So one of the biggest things that you're gonna want is text. And to get text onto the canvas, just click text in the top toolbar here, and it creates this text box. Whether you're adding a quote or information or something else, just type whatever you're adding. So I'm making kind of a inspirational or just like motivational type post. And it's just gonna say focus on right now. You have a bunch of options on the side here for how this text looks. So for fonts, um, right now it's Paytone 1 and I like this font, but there's a bunch listed and if you click more fonts, there's a zillion more that you can choose through. These are all free. Uh, one of the pro features that I think is really cool is you can actually upload your fonts to Kapwing. This is, you do have to have the Kapwing Pro subscription to do this, but this is really good if you have a particular font you're trying to use, especially if you're trying to maintain brand consistency with your other social media posts. And to upload your fonts, you can just upload the file or drag and drop it here, and then you'll have a font library of your own uploaded fonts. But I'm just gonna stick with this free font that we have. So another cool text effect is the drop shadow. So if you just click your text box and then go over to effects on the right side and then click drop shadow, it'll create this uh, shadow effect on all of the text automatically. So there's a bunch of different options here as well. The blur affects how blurry that shadow looks. So I actually really like just having no blur so you can see pretty clearly that there's the shadow behind it. Distance is how far away that shadow looks. And I, I think I like to keep it like kind of medium. And then rotation is where that shadow is coming from. So I do like to have it, I think for this one, I'm just gonna have it pointed downwards. So I'm gonna change the shadow color to a more pale yellow. So I just wanted to interject really quickly on this point about colors. I feel like colors and color palettes can be pretty daunting, um, but honestly, a color palette that works cohesively with the whole image is one of the most important things for aesthetics in my opinion. So pastel colors as are not everyone's vibe, but they are, they do look pretty good, especially for these Instagram posts. Um, and we have this article that I'll put in the description below that just has a bunch of different pastel palettes with the hex codes included. So you can just use this palette and it's guaranteed to look pretty good. You can also change the palette. So you can click use this palette in the article and then just click make it and you can change whatever you want to basically make your own custom color palettes. So yeah, just wanted to share that resource. Color is really important and this will make it easier to choose colors. And then I'm also gonna change the actual text color back on, on the edit tab here. Um, I'm gonna just click that and I actually have a hex code that I'm using. So I'm just gonna paste that hex code and it will pull that color up. I'm gonna make no text outline and I'm also gonna change the background canvas color. So. You can see that when I click this canvas, it deselects the text. So the options will change at, on the right hand side as you sele select different things. So I'm just selecting the canvas itself. And then for the background color, I'm gonna use another custom hex code. 
So if all you wanted to do was add text, you would basically be done now and you can just click export image when you're done. Some other features in Kapwing that make it really useful for text posts are you can actually search for images right inside the editor. So of course, if you already have an image that you wanna bring into this post, you can just click upload and then click to upload and find it in your files. But you can also just search by clicking the images tab and if you whatever queries you search in here it'll source from google images so i'm going to search for meditation graphic um, a tip for finding more like illustrated or icon based images is just searching graphic or the word icon at the end of your query when i search meditation graphic it's more more of these illustration type graphics come up so i like this one right here um, and you can see that there is some white around the outside edges, which I don't want in my post because that looks kind of tacky. So another cool thing is that we do have an image background eraser. So just select the image and then go over to the right hand side and click erase. And there's two types of erasers. There's the magic wand and there's the freehand erase. Magic Wand is the most efficient way to erase backgrounds, especially if it's very clearly like a border of white around the outside. Just click and drag and it'll, as you move around, it'll highlight different amounts of the photo. So it tries to highlight similar areas and you can see that most of the white is highlighted at this point. And you can just play around, uh, drag around to see what point that most of the unwanted part of the picture is highlighted. I'm just going to delete that in one swoop by just hitting delete on my keyboard. Sweet. So you can see that there's still a few little areas that I want to erase, like this part down here in the border. And you can just click the erase tool, which is a freehand erase. You can change the size of it and just go in and quickly erase that. So I think this looks good. I'm going to click done and it brings that graphic right into my post. I'm just going to resize it, rearrange some of the stuff around. If you're looking for other shapes, you can find them in the elements tab up here and there's just a bunch of stock shapes you can use. So I like how my post is looking. I'm going to process the file to save it by clicking export image now. And it should be pretty quick to load. This is my final post. To save it to your device, you can just click download. Uh, if I was making a slideshow for Instagram of these text posts, um, where multiple, I'd have multiple slides in that one post, I can make the subsequent slides by just making a copy of this project here. And it'll make a copy of this exact slide, and I can change around things to make the second slide. Now the great thing about Copwing is that it does work in the browser. So it works on in the browser of computers and phones and tablets. So transferring your files between devices is really easy. So I want to post this on Instagram now. And I don't even need to email it or download apps or text, send it in a text to myself. All I need to do is send this link to myself, to my phone or you can just open your Kapwing account in the browser of your phone. So I'll show you that now. Okay, so to get my post from my computer where I made it to my phone so I can post it on Instagram, I'm just gonna go into my browser and search kapwing.com. Since I'm already logged into my Kapwing account, it immediately pulls up all my creations from my workspace and I can just click this project that I just created and it brings it up and all I have to do is click download and then hold down this photo and there should be an option that says add to photos. I'm just going to click that. Then I can show you now in my photos that post appears and I can just go into the Instagram app, upload this photo and post it straight there. Thanks for watching this video. If it was helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more content creation tips and tricks. Let us know what other videos you'd like to see on this channel in the comments below and we'll see you in the next one.